So you've created those three extra pages and including the contact us page that we made before, that makes four pages in total that you've now created. But if you've been to the site, you'll notice that you can't actually find them anywhere on the site and therefore neither can your prospective customer. So let's see how we can add those things to the menu so that it can all be easily found. So let's go back to the back end here. And this time we'll go down to navigation. Now in navigation, we have two menus already set up by default. We have the footer menu that has got search in it, and we've got the main menu that's got home and catalog. So if I go back to the site itself, you can see the main menu with home and catalog. And if I go down to the footer menu, it's got search in it, okay? So that corresponds exactly to those things. Now to add something extra into the main menu, all we need to do is click on main menu and then just simply click on add menu item. So we had the contact us page so the menu item is called contact us and then what I want to do is find that page so here it is contact us add that in and click on save now when I go back to the site and refresh and scroll to the top you can see that we've got contact us up here in that top main menu if I click on it there's my contact us page. Of course, yours is filled in with all those great tips that I gave you earlier on. So we want to do the same thing for that bottom menu. So this time back to navigation and then the bottom menu or the footer menu, click on footer menu, add a menu item. So we'll have privacy policy. We find the privacy policy. There it is. Add it in. We want the uh, refund policy with an E. <laughs> and then find the refund policy. There it is. And then lastly, the very exciting terms of service. All right. So pages and terms of service add all those in okay all nicely listed click on save back to the site refresh and there we go right this is all in the footer menu if i go to the home page probably makes it a little bit clearer because it's right down the bottom here they are so if i click on terms of service for example those are my terms of service all right so great job guys i shall see you in a moment